start with this. Mm-hmm. Let's introduce yourself, man. What, what you know? Okay, I'm Christopher uh, from Ford Heights, Illinois, a small suburb uh, near Chicago. Uh, not a lot of growth or opportunity there. It was pretty pretty bad. A lot of violence, gun violence, and drugs, and things like that. Oh so, man, so, so you born and raised in Ford Heights, Chicago? Is that like that's that's where you originally from? Like born and raised? Yes, all your born, life. Born there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, nice, 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 nice. And so, uh, man, you uh never moved away, huh? You just like, man, what was, what was it like growing up there? Like, what, like, like, and don't give me the like, yeah, I know, like, you know, what TV portrayed, but like for you, like, what was it like growing up there? I would say it was pretty, it was pretty rough. You know, growing up, you can't really go outside and you know play ball or you know do the do the normal things uh, that a kid would do. You know, you had to be in the house most of the time. Because of the gun violence, you're hearing guns going off pretty much every day. So we were pretty housebound. Uh, not a lot of room to move around. You can't go on certain streets and hang around and do things as a you know as a kid or anything like that. It was pretty rough. But uh, you know it, it it taught me a lot. I did learn a lot from from uh, growing up in that area. Wait, how, so how did you learn a lot from growing up in that area like that? So you like, I had to stay in the house, a lot of gun violence. How did you learn a lot from the hood? Like, I mean, I ain't gonna call it the hood, but how did you learn a lot? You know, it taught me how to maneuver, how to uh, communicate with people. And, you know, you have to be wise about your decision making in, in, in those type of areas because it could cost you your life. Uh, you know, if you if you don't agree with what they're doing, you know, the people around you, what they're doing, you know, it could, it could get pretty violent. So you have to know how to move around. You have to know how to, you know, stay on your toes and mind your business pretty much. <laughs> that's how that's how it was. Would you say, and so like, you know, like now nah, you think like you, so you went to elementary school, high school, uh, and that you went to high school in that area too? Yeah, I went to high school. No, I didn't go to high school in that area. I went to junior high school, Toddy A. Phillips. Okay. And then where'd you go to high school? I went to high school in uh, Olympia Fields, Illinois. Okay. So it was another suburb, suburb of Illinois. Gotcha. So let me ask you this, man. So after high school, any college? No, like any. No. Any no. Okay. Any reason why you didn't go to college? It was just kind of like in one. Uh, we moved. We actually had moved. Um, I did sign up for uh, ITT Tech. Okay. Uh, but my parents had to move for whatever reason and never was able to go. I actually had received my books and everything, but I wasn't able to go. You know, life happened. So. Man, life happened. Ain't that real, man? And so then, like, you you know, so between after high school and between that and rework, like, what type of jobs did you work? Like, what, like, what, like, what did you want to be when you grew up? <laughs> you was, a, you know, after high school. That's, a, then, like, that's a good question. Um, You know what? When I, when I was young, I always wanted to be a firefighter, to be honest. Uh, that was, that was my dream job. But Due to the circumstances I was in, I had to pretty much just go with the flow of what was around me. So it was mostly labor jobs, you know, assembly line type of jobs, those type of things. Uh, pretty, pretty hard work, <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah, boom. And then you, all right, man, right? So you're going with what's around you and then you, you know, you get introduced to rework. What was that like? Like, was it like a, you know, a lot of people <laughs> feel like, right, they grew up and get used to what's around them. And, uh, you know, was you good at it? Was you good at what was around you? Uh, I, I adapted. I'll say that I, I, I adapted to what I had to do, but it wasn't something that I was proud of. You know, it just was what I had to do. So I was rolling with the punches pretty much, but it wasn't something that I was, you know, set on being in forever. So. so then when you saw Rework, was you skeptical? You know, initially I was like, man, what is what is it? You know, what's what what does it consist of? You know? And uh, actually, my brother-in-law went through you guys. And then my my little brother, he just finished up with Cohort 22. So he had called me and he's like, Chris, man, you got to check this rework out, man. It really works. And I was like, man, so uh, when you guys allowed me to join the last two classes, I learned so much. I was like, man, this is, <laughs> it really taught me what I was doing wrong just in the in the department of my resume. When I got my uh, resume back from your senior, it looked totally different. So I was like, wow, just the resume wasn't even on point. So rework, it, it does way more than just, you know, 
teach you about interviewing process, it, it taught me a lot about just having the correct resume. So that that was cool to me. That was something that was good. Yeah. So I guess when, so you think about the type of like you was like man labor jobs and so then the idea of, of like you found out about rework family went through it right mm-hmm. still didn't necessarily understand like what it was per se but you like now I'm about yeah. to check it out right yeah yeah pretty much and so pretty like much. any 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 like going in right so you get your resume back you're like dang this is like anything that worry you like like any any like you know, outside of the, you said any doubts, man? I was just gonna feel like any doubts. Like I feel like, man, folks, you know, they air nine and they hear about us, air nine. So then, you know, tech sales, right? We introduced like tech yeah. sales, and we said like we, we want to focus on tech sales. What was your thoughts about that? I had no clue, <laughs> to be honest with you. I had no idea what tech sales was. I knew I was going to give it a try, but I had no idea. I started looking stuff up on, on online, trying to figure out what tech sales was because I didn't know the process or anything uh, as far as how you guys go about introducing people to uh, tech sales. So I was kind of like, man, what is that? <laughs> I didn't have, I had no idea. So I, I, I pretty much just was going, going for what I, what I thought it, it could be. You know, I was excited. I was like, man, this seemed like a pretty good idea. But, you know, I had no idea what tech sales was, to be honest. Yeah. And now that you got a, now that you kind of got a peak, do you kind of understand it? Yeah. Actually, it taught me a lot. I didn't know what SaaS was. I had no, I probably, I'm probably not even saying that right. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what a CR, CRM was. I didn't know a lot of the terminology. But going through those few classes, it, it taught me a lot. So so now I kind of have a little bit of a understanding of what, what rework is all about. You ain't done yet. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't done yet. Yeah, I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even did the yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Wait. all good. All good. No, no. All good. So, uh, and so like when you think about like, man, you like these this little terminology and you think about like, like where are you from? So it's like so many, like, be honest, it's blatant, like a whole bunch of white people, like, you know, Young white people, <laughs> high school, they know about this, right? What, mm-hmm. Why didn't you know about this? Like, what, what, like, what, what took you so long? Well, you, like you mentioned earlier, you kind of get into a, a frame of mind when you when you grow up in these impoverished neighborhoods. You kind of, you kind of, it's kind of like a fight or flight mentality that I have. It's, it's kind of like I'm either going to do this all the way or I'm just not going to mess with it. So to me, it was like this. This seemed like something that fit the time frame that I'm in. You know what what I have going on uh, right now. So it seemed like a, a pretty good idea. And from what I've been learning, I, I would I would suggest rework to anybody. Yeah. I really think what you guys are doing is life changing. I've, okay. I've witnessed it. <laughs> I've seen it. So so yeah. So then, like, how would you describe it, right? So if you're like, you know, because like people ask me, like, what is rework? You like, what is rework, right? And so like, if you mm-hmm. had to like, you know, three months ago, if you had to hit up your yourself mm-hmm. and be like, man, bro, like, get on this. How would you? How would you describe? How would you describe rework? Let me see. How would I describe rework? Yeah, I mean, it's nah. gotta be like a hundred percent right, man. It's just like, how would I, I would I would just say a, an opportunity. Of a lifetime, that's what I'll say. Why is that though? Give me your say. Like, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Like, what makes you say an opportunity of a lifetime? Like, give me some like coming coming from where I come from and, and what I grew up under and what I've seen, the the op, the opportunity is just just changing people's perception of themselves. Like I see the confidence in my brother and my brother in law. And so I'm like, man, it really boosts your confidence it teaches you how to be yourself and how to land that interview it's 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 something and it's not no small time pay either so you you really changing people's lives you're taking people out of poverty and giving them a chance to live and enjoy their life so i i appreciate it for sure bro for sure man man. that's that's good stuff man i think that's that's solid man and so, like, man, you ain't even started the, the core yet, but, like, you know, you're going through the classes, next cohort don't start for a while, but ideally we're trying to get you a job before the next cohort start. Uh, what would you say to someone who hates their job or job and doesn't know? Like I said, it's people get stuck in that mentality of, like, 
They don't want to, they like, here's something new. Mm-hmm. They don't like their current circumstance. They don't want to change. Like what, what you think that is? Like, why, why do people get like, I think it's, it's a mentality. I think it's just a, it's a hold on a, the, a person's mental. Uh, they're not familiar with, you know, anything outside of what they are comfortable with. So asking a person to try something that's completely the opposite of what they've been used to, you know, you, you used to, <laughs> in, in my case, you used to pounding the pavement and, and breaking your back to, to take care of your family. You started at a young age in the, in the hood. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. So when you ask a person to step outside of what's, what's normal to them, it's, it's kind of intimidating if you haven't built up that, uh, that determination beforehand, it'll, it'll be kind of intimidating. You th- does rework make it easy? So like, man, th- so like, would you agree that, would you say that rework puts you outside of your comfort? Like, would you say like we, our approach puts you outside of your comfort zone? Would you say that? I, would, I wouldn't say it puts you there, but it, it kind of encourages you along the way. And then eventually you're just outside of your comfort zone without even knowing it. But it's so it's so easy going. It's, it's a natural feeling, to be honest. Uh, you know, when we were doing the classes, it, it just became normal. It came. It was easy. It wasn't it wasn't like what I was used to, you know, being being timid, being nervous and things like that. Like I can even hold a conversation with you now. <laughs> And when I first started the class, I'm like, man, Shelton, that's the CEO. That's the that's the big dog. I'm like, man, I was, you know, but but you learn that we just people, you know, and you understand that you guys are really trying to help people and people of color to be specific. And I think that's incredible. That's that's something that, man, like I can I can go on and on about about rework, to be honest, man. I I just seen it. My my brother called me when he signed his contract and we were just on the phone screaming like, <laughs> like what? I'm like, rework really, really put you on, like really put you on. So it, it's, it's amazing what you guys are doing. I, I, I just want to be a brand ambassador. Like I told my brother, I just want to, I just want to support in any way I can what you guys got, got going on. Cause it's, it's amazing. <laughs> this, this is, this is life changing. Like, even if you don't get, the job you specifically want rework puts you in a position to where you can even you know what to do so hey if, if that don't work out you can go and try something else <laughs> it's it's just a win-win situation man. It, it really is so I'm, I'm rocking with rework all day so you know our uh you know our tagline is get this work right it's like man it's time to get, get this work. work i say it all the time <laughs> i didn't adopt it now and, and, and so, like we said, because, like, you know, it's like, man, it requires work, right? You ain't just about yeah. to man, sit down. There's no handouts given. We ain't giving handouts. Like, it requires a person to get this work. And so, yeah. like, to close this out, man. Give me, like, a give me like a, a one to two liner. Like, where it's just like, man, I want you to give me some motivation. Give me some just like, you know, it don't got to be, it don't be, a, I'll be hardcore. But give me like a, a one or two liner that ends with get this work. Where you're, you're like, give me, give me the, give me a, give me a catchphrase, man. Give me a, all right. Well, I just I would just say it like this. I mean, if you're tired of your nine to five and you really want to change your life, get in touch with Shelton. <laughs> it just I mean, just get this work. There's nothing else I could say. I mean, the 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 slogan speak for itself. To be honest, man, just come and get this work. I mean, you can you can you can work nine to five until you're forty, turn sixty, then die, or you can get this work now, have some fun in life. And, and relax. It's, it's up to you. I mean, but for me, come get this work, man. It's, it's, it's here. And, and we, we cohort 23, so you're going to see a lot of Jordan from me. I <laughs> love it, bro. Love it, love it, love it. All right, man. That's solid, bro.